So Ryan Shazier came out today and talked about why he did not want the Cincinnati Bengals to draft him back in the 2014 NFL Draft. Back in 2014, the Pittsburgh Steelers took him at the 15th overall pick. We had the 22nd overall pick, and we ended up taking Dalquez Denard, a very decent cornerback for us, and honestly, played for us for six seasons and put up some good stats. So, wasn't a bad pick by us by any stretch of imagination, but obviously, it would have been nice to take someone like Ryan Shazier at the time. Now, obviously, Ryan Shazier at the time, you know, he only played for three seasons, and then he had that awful injury that, you know, pretty much made it to a, he almost couldn't walk ever again. So, he did reveal, though, when he was getting drafted, why he did not want to draft uh, play for the Cincinnati Bengals. And here's what he said. I didn't want to get drafted to Cincinnati because they didn't have an indoor f practice uh, facility. Um, Shazio said, it gets cold in Cincinnati. Well, in Ohio. And they don't have an indoor practice facility. I used to practice in this all the time. I didn't want to do that. I was like, at least Cleveland has an indoor process facility. That's why I actually changed like his words there to Cincinnati because Cleveland does have an indoor process facility. So yeah, he didn't want to get drafted by us because of the fact we didn't have an indoor facility and it was too cold to practice. He didn't want to process in the cold, which I get it. I understand don't get me wrong, you know, it's never fun to play in the cold. I don't know, though. I mean, okay, again, I used to play high school football, okay? I didn't play college. I didn't play NFL, obviously. But when I played high school, I love playing in the rain, sleet, snow. I love playing in those kind of conditions. I understand why people hate it. And I've had many teammates who told me they hate playing in those conditions and it's the worst thing ever. And I understand it. I love it personally because I feel like that's just football. You know, that's just like gritty football. That's just, that's, that's point of playing football is you play in any condition, right? You play in, I mean, if you go back to George Carlin, uh, he was um, a comedian. He said, you know, rain, sleet, snow. You can't read the play number. You can't read the, um... Player's number, you can't read. The field markers, the struggle will continue. He's actually comparing baseball and football. And he says, in baseball, when it's rainy out, we don't play. Can't play, it's rainy out. But in football, you play in any condition. So that's why I love football. But I understand why some people are like, eh, I don't want to play in that condition. Like, I don't want to press in those conditions. So I get it. I understand. But, you know, at the same time, again, we got a dog has a nard in the end. And it worked out for us. But as he says right here, I'm from Fort Lauderdale, which is Florida. So obviously very good sunny conditions. It would have been cool playing in front of my family. But I kind of felt like with me being in Ohio, it allowed me to grow. I thought of being down there. It would pull me back down a little bit, he said. I mean, again, Pittsburgh, when I came to visit, they told me they weren't drafting me. They told me they weren't drafting me because they already had a linebacker. That's what the linebacker coach told me. He was like, we already have a linebacker. You're a great linebacker. I think you're going to do great. I think you're going to be a first rounder. I don't think we're going to draft you, Shazier said. And in the end, they ended up drafting him. So that's ironically enough that they said to him, like, hey, listen, bro, we're not going to draft you. And then they end up drafting him. So this is how that first round in the 2014 NFL draft really shook out. So just a little recap. In case you forget about it, Javion Clowney went year one, obviously. Year, I thought, pick one. I cannot speak to that. I said year one. Greg Robinson went year two. He played until 2019. So he only played five years, in all honesty. Uh, Blake Odles only played five years, too. Cleo Mack played still today. Uh, Jake Matthews is still in the NFL. Mike Evans is still. Justin uh, Gilbert, the Browns guy, only played two years. Uh, Anthony Barr played eight years. Um, Eric Ebron. Wow, he was actually a pretty good tight end. Taylor Lewan. OBJ. Aaron Donald. Kyle Fuller. Um, Ryan Shazier. Again, he went pick 15. So it wasn't like we were, we were going to get him that early anyway. But honestly, if he didn't go to the Pittsburgh Steelers here... I mean, C.J. Mosley went pick 17, and I don't think Baltimore would have taken uh, C.J. Mosley. So, reality-wise, the next linebacker didn't go off the board until, what, right before our pick at pick 24. 
So it's actually not that crazy to say that we could have honestly got Ryan Shazier here. And again, like I said, you, you could make the argument that, well, one of these other guys would have jumped up and took him then because he was that good of a player. But I don't know. I mean, again, like I said, it's really just, it's potentially that they wouldn't have taken him and he would have dropped a little bit. So it's very possible we could take him at pick 24. But again, he didn't want to play for us. So it didn't really matter at the end of the day, right? At the end of the day, if we sat here and said, yeah, we'll pick him, it wouldn't have mattered because he wouldn't have played for us. So, at least, at least wouldn't have wanted to play for us. I'm not saying he wouldn't have played. I'm sure at the end of the day, if he had to play for us, he would have. I don't think he would have, like, pissed a fit and been like, oh, no, I'm not playing for the Bengals. He's just saying he was hoping he didn't get drafted by the Bengals because of the cold weather. And again, if you're from Florida and you're, uh, you know, born in Florida and you grew up in Florida... It makes sense. I mean, cold weather is definitely never an easy thing to go through. And obviously, he, gets, he got drafted by Pittsburgh, which they have an indoor facility. But still, like, you know, it's a lot when it comes to, you know, playing in the AFC North. You play in that rain, sleet, snow every single year. I mean, it's the worst conditions possible, right? So, again, like I said, uh, Dolquez Denard played 14 games year one for us, 10 games year two, 15 year three, 16 year four. Uh, year 5, 13, year 6, he played 9 games for us. I mean, overall-wise, he did have a couple interceptions for us. He had a total of 3 interceptions for us. So, again, like I said, he wasn't a great player. He wasn't, like, a Hall of Fame player for us. But he was a pretty good player. And overall, I think, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day, you know. We would have loved to have had, you know, a really great linebacker, Ryan Jazier. But we ended up getting Dark Ed Sarnard and... That's how things kind of fell for us, right? And it kind of sucks because Jason Moret was the next pick. And he's actually ended up being really, really good. Same thing with Deion Buchanan. Uh, Jimmy Ward was really good. Bradley Roby was one of the best when he was with Denver for the time period. So, it's, yeah, and like I said, it is what it is. Hindsight 2020 in the end of the day. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. And I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.